long and short, Beyonce allegedly walked into a Reebok meeting. And I guess she saw the staff was all white. So allegedly she said, quote, no one, here, no one here represents my background and skin color. And she walked back out. Now, Reebok, of course, is denying that this deal collapsed because of that reason. They're saying that, yeah, they had met with Beyonce on several occasions, but it ain't because of this. But, I mean, all white meeting? <laughs> like, is this like, my team? She said, my is this question. my team? It, let's, let's, okay, let's just go ahead and say this was true, right? How, how tone deaf do you have to be that you got Beyonce heading up to your office to have a meeting and you ain't got no representation in there? Mm -hmm. you, gonna, you literally had all white and you thought that was fine? <laughs> like you thought that was okay. That's now let me let me put it to you in this way, right? Remember, you know me and you, we came up in a radio game. Mm -hmm. Remember when an artist would come up to the station and all of a sudden we saw that artist poster everywhere? Mm -hmm. Like it'd be like boom, 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 poster, 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 poster. Like 50 cent, boom, boom, boom. Like all of a sudden it's there, right? Now the artist may or may not thought that that was legit, that was genuine. But the point is they knew you were coming. They understood that we knew they were coming. Mm -hmm. You know Beyonce coming. You ain't you ain't got nobody black around. You could at least just sit in the room, even if, even if it's a lie. Like you couldn't even go grab the Negro that was downstairs, like in the coffee by the coffee machine. Shame on you. Like how much how toned up do you have to be for that? Uh, they just lost out on some on a, on a couple hundred M's. I'll tell you that. I don't know how true. I don't know if this true or not. I want to believe that's true. Yeah, I want to believe we it. We want to believe this. Yeah, I want to believe it's true. Because nobody wears Reeboks anymore anyway. But if anybody would have made people wear Reeboks, it would have been Beyonce, Beyonce right? It would have been Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> At least the female line. Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, Should have brought them classics back. Beyonce definitely would have been the one to make people wear actual Reeboks. So. Yeah, but instead, she went to Adidas. Yeah, she mm -hmm. went to Adidas. You know what I'm saying? So... That just that just that just where that goes. I mean, shout out to Adidas. I mean, they seem to be getting people that is upset out of the shoes. They got all good all the good music. <laughs> hey, hey, but Adidas doesn't seem to be upset that people don't choose them first. <laughs> they just seem to be like, you know, we we here. That's all. Come on, come on. I mean, do they do uh, do they have like spies waiting outside when people come out the other meetings? They be like, probably. Hey, remember mm -hmm. in the movie? If Malcolm it don't go well. Just just I'm right here. Just give me a call. Here's my card. <laughs> It kind of reminded me of the movie Malcolm X, where Malcolm and them used to wait outside the Baptist church. I'm like, hey, hey, you came out playing for that white Jesus. Ain't nothing happened to you, huh? We got you right here. Like, that's what that reminded me of. Like, they, Adidas just waiting outside the, the corporate office. Like, huh? That, that switch they do nothing for you, did they? You need some black people? I got one right here. We got one right here for you, baby. Like, they seem to at least be smart enough for that. So, Go check yo. out my room. Kanye loves us. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, shout out to um, B if that, if that is true, man. A, a double um, backhand slap to Reebok if that is true, too. So, I mean, of course, I think we expect Reebok to deny it, right? Nobody wants to admit that. So yeah, of course, that's, that's bad PR. Yeah, so we expect Reebok to deny it. And we're not really expecting Beyonce to really make a statement. Because she never does. She Ever. You know what I mean? And you're so, not worth her time. But I don't see her to put it to you like this. She's not going to deny it, and she's not going exactly. to do it. <laughs> Which is going to make it worse. Yeah. Because the Bayhive is going gonna... to leave it up to people to believe what they want to believe. And they want to believe it. The Bayhive is going to take a life of this of their own. So, yeah. Reebok, people haven't been really wearing about Reeboks anywhere like that. But the Bayhive might make the people who are wearing it not wear it. You keep calling it the Bayhive. It's the Beehive, nigga. Oh, I'm sorry, Beehive. <laughs> I thought it was Bayhive. No, it's B. Beehive? It's Beyonce. It's Bay Beehive. I always saw it being spelled B-E-Y. There's, there's no Bay. Her name is not Beyonce. It's I, thought, I thought it was Bay High. No, it's B. B High. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. I always read it, and I don't get never it right, read it. But they come for you. Yeah, this is true. So 